Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. The niche fragrance collector, all things perfumery, Kevin, the prince of perfume. Oh. <laughs> well, that, you said that last the time. Asian the Asian oligarch. The Asian oligarch, I like that. The I like the prince of perfume. Handsome Harry. <laughs> uh, complex Kevin. Oh, mm, complex Kevin. With a K. Damn, there we go. Now, we've got a line up again today, so we're just... <laughs> we're just riffing. <laughs> we're just talking rubbish. <laughs> Gourmands. Yep. These are, I mean, I, I'm a big gourmand lover. Explain to the, the viewers, maybe the new, the new crew that's just The coming. easiest way to think of gourmand are edible notes. So fragrances with edible notes, caramel, vanilla, sometimes fruit notes. Yep. Chocolate. Yeah. Smells delicious. Absolutely. And when you put it on skin, you smell delicious. There so here are some beautiful fragrances. Kevin's actually curated these for, for us today. Why not do a lineup of... A few different style gourmands. So some a bit more fruity, some more vanilla, some more chocolatey, sweet. We'll cover a wide range here. First one. I was yeah. going to say, this one here. First baby. Uh, I was actually, this was given to me by uh, Mark from Fragrance Photos. Shout out. Shout out to you, my man. Thank you, sir. Uh, he was kind enough to send me this bottle. Yeah. And uh, this is really impressive. I I'd had an experience that you guys hadn't got it by this stage. So this was very early on. That's right. You hadn't quite received uh, That's your right. um, shipment. We hold now. We're lucky enough to hold Stefan Humberluca exclusively in Australia uh, with their La Serpent collection with the snake on the bottles. This is Sand Dance. Awesome. Yeah. It smells how the bottle looks. Yeah. So you're it, right, actually. You know, you get this nice creamy chocolate in it, a bit coconutty, milky. Is it coffee? Because for me- Coffee, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. it's got this also coffee vibe mm. to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful mm. over winter, beautiful over cooler months, but I know for you it's summer, isn't it? Yeah, for me, I rather summer even into the evenings, um, but I can see why people would want to wear like a coffee chocolate in the winter. Right. It's a very, it's the reason why you drink hot chocolate and you drink coffee yeah, yeah. on a cold winter's morning. It's it sort of the, the, the aroma alone warms you up. You know? yes. So the smell alone, like going into a beautiful coffee shop yeah. and the, the roasted coffee and all that is just, yeah. it just warms your soul. I've had people come in and wear this for date fragrance. Yeah, yeah. Um, would be why not? Lunch date, coffee date. Right, right. right. Um, why would you wear a gourmand? Actually, you, 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 there's, there's one thing that on I feel- On a date or, or, or- Well, I feel really strongly about gourmands for a particular thing, mm. which is, uh, why would you wear a gourmand, uh, in your opinion? Why would you want to wear it? Yeah. For me, it's more like, it's a pleasant, to your nose, it's a pleasant smell. Mm. Maybe you may associate with something very delicious that you love. I find that gourmands are just excellent as a date fragrance. If you're meeting someone for the first time, and, and a lot of things that you said is, it's they're very Moorish in their scent profile. They're mm. very instantly pleasing. So yes. I, I think it puts like if you're meeting someone for the first time to wear a beautiful gourmand, you would put whoever you're meeting at ease. You know, there'd yes. be a very familiar scent yeah. to you, yeah. uh, inviting. Whereas doing the opposite, some guys right. come in guns blazing, oud, leather, smoky, and perhaps to a lot of women, it's a bit too much. It's right. a bit not off-putting, but I think it's a bit too much on the first. I think, I think impression? it might be, because yeah. it's like, you know, there's like, whoa, I, I can smell your fragrance, my brother. Yeah. The other one that happens is that men wear like an aromatic, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, mm -hmm. And so that's what everybody smells like. Whereas if you're wearing a gourmand. More of an impression. Yeah, sweet notes, that the sweet, caramel, sweet, the vanilla. You're vanillas. a sweet guy, you're coming in, you're letting your intentions be known. I'm a sweet guy. I'm just a good guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, sand dance. Coffee, it's a caramel, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just it's gorgeous. It's fantastic. All right, the okay. next one we have is, we're gonna jump into, we're gonna, sorry, fly over to Italy, one of our favorite countries. Italy. Yeah? Italy here, we have a brand that was launched last year at Essence, right. at the Milan show, Astrophil and Stella. Now showing up at a lot of boutiques. This is, I would say their bestseller. I'm new Go to on. this, I'm new to this house. Yeah, okay, I haven't. Okay. I haven't experienced these guys at all. It's um, yeah, it's it, it's a bunch of guys that um, do very unique fragrances. They also start. Uh, they do that model where a perfumer, master perfumer, will come in and do two per fragrance. Right. So their whole lineup of about ten. They've got a team of different famous. They've got Christian Provenzano, all those famous names. Right. What's this one called? This is called Paris Cherie. Okay. And it is a gourmand powdery vanilla. Because mm, it reminds me of a Madeleine cake. 
Oh, okay. It's got like yeah, yeah. cake-like quality to it. Yeah. And if, for those who are familiar with those beautiful little Madeleine cakes, mm. it's got that kind of vibe mm. to it. It does sit, I would say, mm. this does sit um, more in the feminine direction. Right, okay. I've sold it really only to women. Right. Um, but again, it is, it is practically their bestseller in the whole it's lineup. Beautiful. And if you're looking for just a very easy to wear, pleasant, beautiful, very feminine scent, yep. um, Paris Cherie, this is gorgeous. This is what, what, what are some of the notes? Because I, like I said, I am, yep. it, you, you're saying it's floral, but I'm yep. getting a lot more of the... Let's break down, let's break it down. <laughs> On opening, you're getting a bergamot from Italy, cardamom from Guatemala, pink berries, and cinnamon leaf. In the heart, coffee, cocoa, lily of the valley, hedione, Iris butter, heliotrope in the base, cedar wood, cistus from Spain, and broxen, gourmand notes, tonka bean, benzoin, vanilla, and ambrette. Looking at those notes, I just, no, I mean, like, I'm, sometimes cardamom can be quite punchy, but I'm not getting, not, in not, this. A, not, not at all, in this. Not a, or spicy, I'm yeah. not getting that either. I've always found it's more of that gourmand, almost a bit sweet floral. Yeah, that kind absolutely. Of plays a part in it. Beautifully constructed, first time experiencing it, so yeah, there's a lot going on yeah. here and the notes don't really tell you yeah. what the fragrance is really about. And I wanted to, you have have to experience this, it. I wanted to have this at the start of the series is because this is hitting at a really, really affordable right. price point. Right. So all their fragrances sit at, in AUD, around the $200 price point. Okay. Yeah, right. which is really good. Nice entry level. Yeah, really great entry level sense. Very easy to wear. All a right. man could wear it too, by the way. Just a heads oh, up. I mean, definitely. yeah, there's this. I know you're selling this to, to ladies, yeah. but there's no reason why I yeah. can't wear that. All right. The next one we have is from one of our friends, one of our dear friends, Manos. This one here is called Methixes. So Manos Gerakinis is the first uh, luxury niche house out of Greece. And this is built around a note of fig. It's beautiful. So this really rich, full, robust, fruity fig in the middle and around it is it's an, there's an oozing honey in it, cinnamon, uh, vanilla in the base, ambers all around it. You know what I find amazing is that the fig can be equal part fruity, but also green. Yes. Somehow he's done both. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're getting that fig fruitiness of, of it, but there's also a greenness. But yeah. as Kevin just said, it is surrounded by the, the, the honey, the yeah. spices. Yeah. It's this, this on skin is amazing. It's a beautiful scent. Actually, do you mind if on skin it's going to yeah, be? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Let me have a look. Okay, what are you going to Yeah, please. Whoops. There we go. See, on skin. Oh. On skin. Yeah. <laughs> on skin is just gorgeous. Yeah. And actually, on skin, you're getting a little bit more of the floral component of the more sort of fruity part of it. Um, I'm also getting some of that honey coming through. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. And that's, this Almost is what caramel I... caramel too, there's a caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that kind of sugary vanilla mm. comes off like a caramel. There actually might even be a caramel note in it, mm. but this is a true fig gourmand yep. at heart. Fig gourmand. Very, very easy to wear. I've classified this as more spring summer. Not in an overly mm. heavy hot day, mm. but at that kind of mid sunny day, I like to wear this outdoors. Yeah. Because there's something really fresh. Again, you said there's like this green element of the fig. There's a green element to it. There's and a green leaf of the fig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This puts me outdoors. I feel Absolutely. like you've got a day. It's a weekend ascent. Um, you're off work. Not really an office scent. You, you go out with your friends, brunch. You're going out to the park with the family. This is that kind of scent. One thing that I love about the Manos Kinis is that he has such a diverse range of fragrances. He, Definitely. I mean, to, to look at the collection that he has, well, he creates fragrances in such a unique different way so you may think oh yeah I, I've got a fig fragrance or I know fig yeah but this is something that you haven't quite experienced before I this agree. is something a little bit different there is a and, and I know it sounds weird to say this but I almost feel like there is a Greek element there's a Greek touch to, to the work that he yeah. does yeah do, do you agree yeah. or like... it's a scent that you really need to come on and try on skin absolutely it's it's an easy blind buy, yeah. to be honest. Not that I'm advocating mm. for blind buying, okay, no blind. but it is kind of a fragrance that's going to be an easy wear. I think so too. Um, so if you can't make it to the store, otherwise do make it to the store. I want to break down the notes on this one. On opening, you're getting fig, blackcurrant, dried fruits. In the heart is honey, cocoa, cedar, and cinnamon. In the base, vanilla, musk, amber, vetiver, benzoin. So it's interesting that it's got vetiver, yeah. but you don't. I don't get that. But maybe it's that greenness that I'm telling. Not as spicy, but I think it kind of adds that yeah. green element. 
Um, interestingly, you mentioned caramel. Yeah. I find it's probably like the cacao, mm. that cinnamon, that mm. vanilla is, mm. is kind of coming off like really rich caramel. That's a beautiful fragrance, man. Yeah. yeah. He's done an uh, awesome amazing job. Yeah. Awesome job. And that's the best seller in his house. Right. Now we're jumping on the plane. Boom. From Greece. Yes. We're flying over. Paris. To Paris. Here we bonjour. go. Bonjour, comment vas-tu? Oh, uh, <laughs> bonjour, je m'appelle Kevin. Ah, bon, uh, um, je m'appelle Marcelo. Uh, you are very beautiful. Uh, <laughs> merci. That was in English. <laughs> With a French accent. There we go. <laughs> by Javoy Paris. Um, and this is done by master perfumer, Venina. Forgive me, Venina, if I don't pronounce your last name correctly. Uh, Maracciole. This is currently their strongest seller in the entire brand from Javoy, Fire at Will. If you like vanilla, yeah. this is your fragrance. Mm. So I, we were in Exxon last we year, yeah. and I had an opportunity to film with Francois Hennen, and he spoke about yeah. this one here, yeah. Fire at Will. Francois, the owner of Javoy, mm. um, and, and it timed in with the new release of this fragrance. Correct. Uh, it is one made for those who are obsessed with vanilla. It's a vanilla, it's quite creamy, and a lot of people say it smells like when you have a torch and it's the top of a creme brulee. Okay, because yeah, there's, right. It's vanilla, it's brown sugar, and mm. it's burnt sugar. Mm. So that's kind of all that. For me, it's a buttery, frosty vanilla. Okay. That yeah. sort of, there's a richness there, there's a yeah. creaminess in there. Yeah. This is true. It's, beautiful. it's what you would say is delicious. This is very creamy. Very edible, yeah, yeah. Very Moorish. Francois, when he actually yeah. spoke about this, he said that it was um, it's very seductive and sensual. Mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. he was always you know very French in the way that he was explaining it. You know? <laughs> Everything's very sexy. Very sexy. <laughs> You're gonna say something before. I was gonna say, the master perfumer, Venina. If you haven't already jumped onto the NFC website, we are doing a huge fragrance experience. In France, Kevin and I will be there. The dynamic duo, as many of you guys say. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Who's Batman in there? I would say he's Batman. I'm Batman. Right? Rich billionaire. Well, I'm the big... <laughs> and, uh, Not rich billionaire. <laughs> young handsome prince coming in. Boom. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be in Paris. Yeah. We'll actually have a chance to meet Vanina, who is the creator of not only of, of this particular fragrance, but of many a of lot the of others. Big names. Yeah. yeah, and also many others from Javoy also. She perfumed. Touche Vinal, which was in our earlier episodes a few weeks ago. That's right. Well. We're yeah. going to be in her atelier, in her laboratory, yeah. and we're going to actually have a chance to meet with her, speak about fragrances. Yeah. This is a curated tour for you guys. So we want to invite you guys to join us yeah. and be a part of that too. We'll be taking you guys behind the scenes and we'll be looking at things like how Vanina perfumes the fragrance. So this is going to be really, really special. Have a look at the website. You'll see more details on that yeah. and get a chance to experience it with yeah. us. Now, that actually leads on to, well, we're, we're on a plane. The next we're one. in Paris. Yes. All right. We're staying in France. We're staying in France, but we're going to head down to the birthplace of perfumery. Grass. Beautiful. There we go. Actually, this is also part of the tour, by the way. So <laughs> yeah. we're, we're also going to be going to Grass. We are catching up with Quinton from Soradora. Soradora. So the owner of Soradora, many of you guys will have already purchased their biggest sellers, uh, Gladiator, maybe you already have Brasilians here. This opens so unique. I love it. There's this fizzy, mm. beautiful fizzy top, which is achieved by um, the perfumer using these very, very specific florals to get this fizziness. I, I love that it, it is fizzy. When yeah. you, I mean, how do you describe a fragrance being fizzy? But the moment that you smell this, yeah. you're it's like, crazy. it's fizzy. It's a fizzy gourmand at the top, mm. uh, all built around vanilla, caramel. So if you are, Gorgeous. I don't want to name drop, but if you like things like Lyra by um, Casmarati, yep. very uh, kind of vanilla caramel gourmands like those, then you will love something like Brasilian. On the opening, you're getting lime, lemon, ginger, coriander, and bergamot. In the heart is sesame, iris, and cinnamon. Then in the base, civet, vanilla, caramel, rum, styrax, and castronum. What's the difference? Castronum? Yeah. I mean, which is very animalic. But also, a castronum has a vanilla sort of esque vibe to it. Civet, very musky. I mean, what? Yeah. Doesn't usually quite, usually gives it quite an animalic tone. Absolutely. But, but this is not animalic. Yeah. I mean, this is, but the ginger. I think it's the ginger, that lemon, the, that lime, yes. that pop. That's that pop of fizziness at the right, top. Right. Um, but yeah, it has that really beautiful yeah. caramel in it there. And the, and the rum. Yeah. This is a unique 
gourmand. This is a gourmand, not, I mean, like sand dance, you have a, you have a feeling of what it is. You yeah. already are familiar to some of those components. Yeah. yeah. This is not, this is something really unique. Now, the reason why I added this bit of a curveball you mentioned before. You're somebody who wears the suede gourmands in winter. Right. You don't wear it in summer like me. Sir, may I but please? But something like this, that fizziness, that bit of citrus mm. with the bergamot, with the ginger. Yeah. I feel like you could pull this off. Spring, Absolutely. summer. Absolutely. Man, that, that's actually on skin is better. I yeah. Know. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. It's one that you really need to get your nose on. You know how I said the other one had uh, like a Madeleine cake vibe to it? The, yeah, yeah, yes. I, I'm feeling, maybe it's the lemon lime because Madeleine cakes have that l that lemon sort of component yes, to it. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually really good, mate. There you go. Yeah, good choice. Um, and again, Sorodora, only a brand that's been out for under two years, probably a year and a half, and they've, they've just... They've made some great inroads. Yeah, they've put themselves on the map, uh, entering into the Javoy Boutique in Paris. Right. Uh, which we'll be taking you guys to as well. And, you sorry, know. Sorry, Dunk. <laughs> and really, Gladiator and uh, Brasiliant are two of their biggest sellers, so you have to check those out. Yeah. Well worth it. And it's something you get to spray on skin. Oh, definitely. You have to spray on skin. Most definitely. The last one we've got is one that you are very familiar with, my I friend. I love this one. Panettone. For starters, I love panettone. I mean, to eat panettone makes yeah. me happy all day long. I put on a lot of weight, but I don't care. During Christmas? Oh man, I, I eat this thing like there's not tomorrow. Like there is not going to be another Christmas. Oh, I'm a little bit annoyed that they only release it during Christmas. Because Panettone is so oh, good. Oh, yeah, Panettone, I wrote. Yeah. So I'm like, but I, 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 Oh no, not this place. Yeah, yeah. Panettone cake. I've only, as soon as I saw Marcelo post it, I was like, oh yeah, there's Panettone around this time of year. I bought one and I was like, oh, this would have been... Isn't amazing. it amazing? And it does smell exactly like just it. Just then when you sprayed it, it's like Panettone. When I, I just cut, yeah. and you open that up, and then you just well, get that, fruit, that aroma. The bread, mm -hmm. raisins, mm -hmm. oh, insane. I have carried on and on and on about this fragrance. So even if you don't like panettone, let's say you're not even familiar with, with this type of, of, of uh, cake, Christmas yeah. cake. Yeah. This scent profile is Moorish. It's so delicious. It's so inviting. It's so... It, Pleasant. Yeah. It's, yeah, it just it's a it's a fragrance yeah. scent yeah. profile that just makes you happy, yeah. and it, maybe it is that I'm linking it with yeah. panettone. Yeah. But even on its own, it's just because I like that it's although it's a bit annoying for us when we want to eat the panettone, but it is cool that it is linked to Christmas time. You right. know, when you see the family, when you get to hang out with friends you haven't seen in forever, it's uh, wake of festivities. Everyone's in a good happy mood. You're wearing something like that. It's memorable. Absolutely. This is my. Summer, Christmas. Yeah. This is what I'm wearing in December. So yeah. for, uh, I'm eating panettone, but I'm also wearing the fragrance. It yeah. has a beautiful lemony, orange sort of opening citrus. Yeah. Unique though. It's a, it's mm -hmm. a very unique mm -hmm. citrus opening. And there's almost like a sweet rum or like a sweet yeah. wine. Yeah, right, right. To this. Well, I think there is like some kind of alcoholic component in to panettone. panettone. Yeah, and so it does lend itself to that too. Yeah. Milano Fragranza. I really love their collection. They're very specific to the area, so they'll do a, a fragrance that distinguishes the Duomo or right. Brera. Yeah. And I, I don't know, I love, I think, I love traveling. Yeah. And the thought of having a fragrance to marry that location. Every individual fragrance is made to remind you of that place. One thing, yeah. I love it, it's, I love it. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, and bottles, Great house. very it's unique gorgeous. bottles. All magnetic caps as well. Mm. If you like gourmands that go in different directions, so the, and, and again, thank you, mate, because you haven't just done a straight vanilla or uh, caramel or whatever. Yeah. You know, there's a really good balance. So if yeah. you like gourmands, there's not a, there's a beautiful lineup of here of different varieties that yeah. you can explore. Jump on the website. You guys can shop now on all these brands. We're doing exclusive, exclusive promo code only for the viewers of these episodes, only for the viewers of NFC. So the code is going to be NFC5, all right? And the code's only going to be up for 48 hours. Take advantage. Yeah. Take advantage it. while you can. So I appreciate you letting me into the yeah. store again. We have viewers all the time that come in and they're like, is Marcelo around? Some people think that you live here. <laughs> I, I have a room in the back. <laughs> it is in that room. I have there. a room in the back. Uh, yeah, I come out every now and again. We do these videos and I go back into the room. Yeah. See you next year. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you on the next episode.